Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Wednesday, the 5th of September. Um, let me adjust that. There we go. Woke up this morning to <laughs> a fairly cold room. Uh, it's fall starting to slowly creep its way in. Uh, it was dark this morning. I got up at, you know, I didn't, uh, I've been, uh, it's been hard getting up in the mornings. It's, uh, but, um, but I got up around 5.30. I got up at, well, at first I got up at 3. And then I, you know, went to the bathroom, came back. And then it was so cold, I was like, I'm just going to crawl into bed and just warm up a little bit. And, and you close your eyes and then you wake up and it's like 5.30. And you're like, dang, I got to get up now. So it was one of those mornings. It was freezing cold. I mean, it was cold. And, um... So I went downstairs, I did a little bit, you know, some push-ups and some curls and try to get at least something going, I didn't get my blood flowing. Uh, but um, needed to start getting back into winter training mode, which means, uh, you know, it's a little easier to run outside, um, at least till it starts raining and then, I mean, we have the treadmill and all that, so I can I can definitely gravitate towards that when, it ha when that happens, but... Um, it's been, um, it's been a good summer, you know, uh, got a lot of hiking in, uh, I, I, you know, I did the hike-a-thon for the Washington Trails Association, I thought I got more miles than that, I, I really did, but I think some of the, I got a lot of hikes in within a month, but not within the month, so, um, the idea was to get as many miles as possible in the month of August, and I got, there are a few other hikes I did in July, like mid to late July, they just cut, they it sort of felt like they were, you know, within that time frame. But I added up the miles, and it's like I didn't even crack forty, which is, man, it's. I, I wish it would have been more. Um, I was trying to go uh, a mile for every donated do uh, donated dollar to the Washington Trails Association, but I fell short by like sixty miles. So because I had a hundred dollars donated, and I needed. Um, you know, 100 miles, and I only got like 38, so that was, that was kind of surprising for me, I, I wish I would have had more, uh, I see, I see a lot of people out there that were able to put in a lot of miles, even people with jobs, you know, but I think the one guy that, um, I've, I've, I've spoken to a number of times, he, uh, he works the swing shift at REI, uh, in Sumner, and the, uh, so he does trail running all uh, mornings and then goes to work evenings, which it'd be nice to be able to do that, but I can't. Um, or it's it would be very difficult with my family. I just have to I have to do my you know what's right for my family, which is we both work the same schedules and things like that. So I do have you know restrictions uh, based upon my own moral obligations. My moral obligations is, are to be a present father. It's you know it's. Um, there are no gender roles, um, you know, men cook, men clean, you know, women cook, women clean, it's, there is no gender roles, it's like, whatever needs to get done, needs to get done that day, and, you know, sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's based upon, you know, if someone's having a rough day, then, you know, I'll do, I'll do a lot, or if I'm having a rough day, she'll do a lot, it just depends, there's no gender roles, it's just, something has to get done, and we both work together to make sure it gets done, and we share the brunt of, what happens in the household and needs to get and needs to get done. So, you know, we did some sort of fall cleaning. Um, I got rid of a lot of clothes. Um, trying to do that if you don't touch it or use it in six months, then it gets thrown out. Um, so there's or at least donated. So there are a lot of like shirts and things like that that I'm that I'm getting rid of. There, are, some of the shirts that I'm keeping um, that I don't wear that often are the ones that I get at concerts, and that's because the you know the ones that I get at concerts are. Um, you know, I don't wear them as often. Sometimes they're black shirts. I'm not a big, big person that wears black shirts. I don't, I don't particularly like them, but, um, those ones, um, you know, I'm going to keep and put into a box just for as a sort of a, a, a memory of having gone to that show. I keep that kind of memorabilia. Um, but for this week, I think I may be working home on Friday. Uh, there's certain days that the daycare is closed, so I have to, you know, we have to share those days. I need to be a be uh, better at balancing out my work and personal schedule uh, because, you know, um, fiance has a, wa a phone, you know, her phone that 
she uses for both personal and work. Um, I have two separate phones, which um, I have to balance two separate calendars, and I'm not very keen on adding like business stuff to my personal calendar, but I may need to, you know, and uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a better job of balancing those two out, but um, I have to get on that soon. Um, yeah, other than that, though, we just have the uh, Notre Dame and, or, or Notre Dame, North Dakota versus, you know, you just coming to town this weekend for, on Saturday, so UW plays North Dakota on Saturday, 2 o'clock, going up there for the game, uh, UW still in the top 10, uh, number 9 now, They so they switch spots with Auburn, I don't know where Auburn moved up to, but uh, yeah, the game's on Saturday, so go dogs. I think we can still run the table, and end up with a 10-1 and record. I think it's how many games we have. I think it's gonna be like ten and one or something. So, I think it's very possible. Um, so, Auburn was a tough game, but it was, uh, it was a tough one to watch from our perspective because you, you know we had, it's been like two years since we had a turnover in the red zone. We have two and we had two failed turn you know trips to the red zone in that game. They definitely could have turned the tide to the game and in an interception that was just like what the heck? What? Why did you throw that? Why did you make that throw? So, Huskies on Saturday, and uh, probably some shopping on Sunday. Going grocery shopping is part of being an adult. So, anyway, hope you have a great day. Uh, see you tomorrow morning.